Hi everyone, it's Stephen Bloom, your real estate Sherpa, and today I want to give you some advice to those of you who are considering downsizing. Hi everyone, before you consider downsizing, you want to clarify why you want to downsize. You know, whether it's a family life change, a mental condition, or you simply want to be closer or farther away from your family. Then after you do that, here's a few things you want to think about while you're considering downsizing. First of all, number one, what size of community are you the most comfortable in? 55 plus communities range anywhere from 35 homes to 3,500 homes. I personally live in one with 962 homes, Heritage Park in North Sacramento. Also, how close are you to your basic needs? Now I'm talking about restaurants, doctor's offices, grocery stores, hospitals, churches, all of those things. Where I'm at, it's not that far. It's about three miles away though there is one nice restaurant a couple of blocks away. What's the traffic like? Well, I tell you, in most 55 and over communities, it's slow. Most of us older folk, we just don't like to move that fast. But go in and take a look because not all 55 plus are retirement communities. Some of us who live in 55 plus communities are still working. So what kind of home are you looking for? You can go everywhere from a condo to a townhouse to a duplex where you're sharing a wall and it's a big house separated. We call them duets these days. A single family home, a single story, a double story. How big? Now, if you're downsizing, you're obviously gonna go from a larger size to a smaller size. How small is small? Keep that in mind. Also, if you don't like to do yard work, who's gonna do the front lawns? Who's gonna mow the lawns, trim the hedges, and do all of that in the front? In many cases, an HOA will take care of that. So take a look at landscaping, probably just the backyard landscaping, that you feel comfortable maintaining. And what are the HOA fees? I gotta tell you, I know a lot of people don't like HOA. But trust me, in a 55 plus community, they are responsible for keeping that community looking gorgeous. Heritage Park is one of the most beautiful communities I've ever lived in. They take care of all the common areas, the clubhouse, everything, and makes the community beautiful. And what kind of price range as well? Again, that is a moving target in today's day and age, but I would say you'll pay anywhere from 350,000 to 650,000 in most areas. There are some very upscale 55 plus communities where you'll be paying more and some in a smaller area where you can get away with paying less. So consider what your budget is after either selling the home that you're in now or renting it out or if you're currently renting, just how much your mortgage would increase your daily payments. And what kind of uh, activities are happening in a community? I love this. Where I live, we have 150 clubs. Anything that you really like, there's a club for that. I tell you, whether it's bowling, traveling, eating, painting, weaving, photography, dogs, we have, we have a wine club that has over 150 people in our community. If you're bored, it's your own fault. Because many 55 plus communities thrive on activity. And with people being mostly retired in these communities, there's a lot of activities throughout the day. So think about those. I have a form you can fill out. If you're with your spouse or a partner, sit down with them and talk about what you want and what your needs are. It will help. You may want one thing and your partner may want another. So this might be a good time to discuss compromises or what are your hard stops. 
So let me know. I would be glad to send you a PDF with those questions. Also, if you have a real estate question, please reach out to me and I'll make you a video. Anyway, thank you so much. And until we meet again.